In this video, I'm going to be showing you some players from Denmark that I think have the potential to go on and beat FM24 Wonder Kids. Oliver Ross is a striker or central midfielder who plays his club football for Alborg. He stands at 6 foot 1, so should be good at set pieces. He also scores highly for pace, acceleration, technique, finishing, and determination. Patrick Dorgu is a defender or wing back who can play on the left, can also play as a makeshift left midfielder. He is contracted to Lecce. He is a player who will rely on his pace and acceleration to beat players and looks like he could be a threat going forward as well as being comfortable as a left back. Charlie Nuke is an attacking midfielder right or left who plays for Odense. He is a player who has 14 for pace and 13 for acceleration, so he'll like to get at defenders. He also scores highly for dribbling, finishing and first touch. Jep Kajar is an attacking midfielder right or left and a striker who plays for Sandford. He is a player with good pace and acceleration. He also scores highly for off the ball, vision, passing, technique and determination. Comrade Harder is a striker who is contracted to Nordschland. He is a player who is only 5 foot 11, so not the tallest, but he does possess good pace, acceleration, off the ball, work rate, technique and finishing. Adam Dagim is an attacking midfielder who can play on the left or the right for Red Bull Salzburg. He is a player with good pace and acceleration and he also scores highly for work rate technique, crossing, dribbling and determination. Lucas Hogsberg is a defender right or a wing back or attacking midfielder right who plays for Nordschland. He is a player who possesses good pace and acceleration. He has good positioning, teamwork, vision, work rate, tackling. He looks like he could be one that is just as much a threat going forward as he is a defender. Jonathan Asp Jensen might be one of the more famous wonder kids on this list but he's a midfielder or defensive midfielder can even play as an attacking midfielder for Bayern Munich. He is a player that has good pace and acceleration for a central player but he also has good natural fitness, flair, work rate, technique, passing and determination. Zidane Sertdemir is an attacking midfielder who can also play as a central midfielder for FC Nordschland. He is a player who possesses decent pace and acceleration for a midfielder. He also relies on his good off the ball, vision, work rate, passing, dribbling and determination. Emil Hoyland is a striker centre or attacking midfielder centre who plays for FC Kubenhaun under 19s. He is the brother of Rasmus Hoyland who plays for Manchester United. He stands at 6 foot 1, has good pace acceleration, he has good teamwork, work rate, passing and finishing. Oscar Fraulo is a midfielder centre, defensive midfielder or attacking midfielder who will play his club football for FC Utrecht. He is a player who looks to pass rather than attempting to score. He has good pace and acceleration, natural fitness, an impressive set of mental stats and a good set of technicals to go with it. Ask Edelgard is a defender left, wing back left or a defensive midfielder who plays for Odense under 19s. He is a player who attempts crosses early, has good pace and acceleration along with vision, positioning, passing, technique and determination. Oscar Schwarto is an attacking midfielder centre or a striker who plays for Brondby. He is a player with good pace, acceleration agility and natural fitness. He also scores highly for flair, off the ball, work rate, technique, finishing and determination. Philip Bungard is an attacking midfielder or striker who plays for Randers. He is a player with good pace and acceleration. His physicals are also very impressive. He has a good set of mental attributes and in the technicals he has good penalty taking, passing, finishing, dribbling crossing and corners. The final name on my list is Elias Gellert. He is a wing back who plays on the right or the left for FC Kubenhaun. 
He is a player who possesses 16 for pace, 15 for acceleration, he possesses a brilliant set of mental stats and also is very technically good. He is a player who could go on to do bigger and better things in FM24. So that's my list of players that I think you should be checking out in FM24 from Denmark. I do think that some of these players have a chance to go on and be fully fledged wonder kids, but if not, there is a chance that some of them will be hidden gems that you could pick up on the cheap and use to help your teams in FM24. If you're still with me at this point of the video, how about hitting the like button? Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the other content that will be coming in the run-up to the FM24 release. If you want to check out the rest of the channel, there are videos for FM23 which include hints, tips, wonder kids. And for the FM24 content, we already have the wonder kid videos and the save ideas for you. Right then, for this one, I'm going to be leaving it there. Big thank you for watching. I'll see you on another video very soon.